Okay, I want to show you how to make this card. It's um, using a technique we've done before. It's on watercolor paper, and the three colors that I used are um, Dapper Denim, Pumpkin Pie, and Daffodil Delight. Um, now, if you'll notice on this card, I got the three leaves from the Colorful Season set. They're the open leaves stamped, and I embossed them in white first, but I didn't get them lined up, so there's my mistake. So how do you get them lined up? Well, I decided to use the Misty, and I'm going to show you how I got that to get them lined up. So here's the Misty, and you can see that I put the leaf stamp right basically in the center. My cardstock was cut at four inches by five and a quarter so I have a quarter of an inch around the edge of the card so what I did was I took a scrap piece of paper actually I just put this orange piece is just typing paper like um anyway and I cut this the size of the misty at six and a half by eight and a half and I laid it in here first because I wanted to find out where I have to put this card stock so what I did was I put the card in and I stamped the first leaf going down in the center just like this. Once I had that placed there, then I traced around it. I just took a pencil and I traced around the entire piece of cardstock. And then to give myself some references, I wrote top, bottom, and number one, because that's the first stamping. Then I needed to get the leaf upside down. Well, without changing it, I'm going to turn the cardstock around 180 degrees, and then I laid the um, lid down to try to figure out where it would fit and to line up straight across the cardstock. Well, I found out it would be right about there, so then I opened the Misty and I traced around this side of the cardstock and now it's hanging out the edge and it won't hurt it at all to hang out the edge there because once it's down it'll just lay flat in there you won't get any creases or anything like that so of course then I put the number two in the top and the bottom there and then I knew I had to have another upside down leaf over here so then I thought well I'll move it over this way and see lined it up with the stamp right where it was and then I put a number three here so I know that this is the third stamping top and bottom also listed so now to make the card so that I can get those leaves straight I already have a piece of watercolor paper this is a hundred and forty pound uh, cold press water paper I don't remember the brand but anyway so the first time I put it in and the reason this is difficult to do is because your Versamark, my Versamark, if it's clean, doesn't leave any impression. And I've already treated this uh, paper with um, anti-static powder. So I'm going to take my Versamark and I'm going to stamp it first on one. Then I'm just going to move it. And since I cut that paper to fit in there exactly, it won't really hurt a bit to have it. And remember, it's hanging out the edge here, so line it up with number two. And I'm going to put the magnets down a little. Ink it this side. And it's going to hang off a little bit, but that's okay. Because my cardstock isn't big enough to have the thing... And then I'm just going to slide it over here for three. And ink it there. So now I have all three of them stamped on this watercolor paper. I'm going to heat set, I'm going to uh, put some white embossing powder on this and then I'll heat set it and I'll be right back. Okay, now I don't know if you can see those. Well, yeah, you can. Uh, they are white, so I embossed them in white and then I'm going to put the ink on them. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to take the acrylic block. This is Stampin' Up's acrylic block E. Um, 
and I'm going to take the markers and I'm going to put the color right on there. I had to stop and put a piece of paper towel underneath the thing because I'm going to be spraying all over. So I'm going to take this acrylic block and I'm going to scribble about a third of the way with the dapper denim with the brush end of the marker and I'm going to get a lot of ink on there. And then I'm going to take the pumpkin pie and I'm going to scribble the th middle third of this block. And I'm not really touching because I don't want to mess my markers up so I'm not touching the dapper denim because once I spray it with water it will mix anyway. As you saw on the card it looked pretty well mixed. The one color that was a little more difficult was uh, Daffodil Delight over here on the third, and I'm not touching the pumpkin pie either here. I'm just, we get quite a bit out here on the end because for some reason the Daffodil Delight is so light that it didn't always work really well. So now I have the misty sprayer here. I just have water in here, and I'm gonna mist this block. Hopefully you can see that, how much water I put on that. About three, three mists. And now the trick to this is once I put this down here, and we've done this before, but once I put this down here, okay, I'm going to put the blue on the left and I'm going to press it into the paper and I'm going to leave it there. Now this is the worst part is because you really have to wait about five minutes if you want some really um, uh, vivid colors. You gotta let that soak into that paper. So really what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it there. Now you'll notice that the white embossing might look colored but it'll wipe right off afterwards. Okay, so I'm going to let this sit for five minutes and just uh, we'll be back. Okay, this is set here long enough. So I'm just going to pull the block off. As you can see it's pretty vivid and um, if you want you can always take a water brush and brush through here a little bit to get a little more color. Up to you. I like a little more color also then I'm going to go through and wipe off the embossing so that there's no color on it. You can see that it's cleaning it up a little bit as I run the brush through here. And the leaves show up a little bit better. And then I'm just going to take the paper towel And blot the leaves off a little bit. And there you have it. Now what I did was I just stamped the thinking of you on a piece of scrap white in uh, memento black and I just cut it out with scissors. You could die cut it. I just kind of did it at an angle like that. Then I took a piece of dapper denim and trimmed that off just like that. I glued these down with mono adhesive because um, watercolor paper will take the glue pretty well. Then I just affixed this on the front of a vanilla folded card in half, and then I put some sequins around um, with mono adhesive. You could use um, crystal effects or um, the other one by Ranger if you want, whatever you want there. Just put it like that. Thanks for watching.